I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. For American Mahjong, there's a part of the game called the Charleston. When you pass three tiles up to nine times, your hand can change drastically during the Charleston and sometimes you might second guess yourself. The focus of this exercise is to test your instincts. We're going to get 13 or 14 random tiles and go one direction and then we'll see if there's a totally different direction that we could have gone and then we'll compare results. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a seven. We're going to be in seat three. Non-dealer. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, a flower, east, south, red. Three dots, three bams, two cracks. No multiples. We have a joker and a flower, silver lining. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I would play either six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run or three, six, nine. We don't have any threes and we don't have any sevens. Either way, there's a gap. Because consecutive run is so flexible, let's make that plan A. We'll do consecutive run for the first go round, and then on the second rep, we'll see if 369 is a better choice. So we're going to hold consecutive tiles six through nine, four numbers in a range when you have mixed suits. We'll always keep the flower. So we're going to keep six, seven, eight, nine. We'll discard these during the Charleston. So let's give up a wind and then an even and an odd. I'm going to take a photo of this so we can recreate it. We'll pass these first. We've got a nine. Our first multiple right there. Let's stick with consecutive. Let's pass these three. Did I take a photo? I don't think I took a photo. I think we got nine. We got a nine. Okay. We're keeping the nine. We're going to pass those three. I will take a photo. Got to take a photo along the way. So, because I can't remember these tiles. If you can remember them, you don't need to take a photo, but I can't remember them. So, we're going to keep the eight, six, seven, eight, nine. We're still missing sevens. Let's pass these. We'll take a photo. We got a seven, finally. Seven. We have two tiles to pass. So now we have to free something up. So we're going to 
look at the card and whittle down these options. We have seven, nine. We have a lot of six, nine. We have an eight, one, eight. Here's an eight, nine. So we have an eight crack, no eight dot. I think we could maybe give up the six bam. Maybe even the six crack, but we only need to pass three tiles. We got another seven. Maybe five, seven, nine might be better here. We did get a three and a six. Seven, nine. Let's give up the eight. We could do six, seven, eight, nine and use that as joker bait. Taking a photo. We got another seven. We have tiles we can pass here. We got fives. I would not pass like numbers. We could do six, seven, eight, nine, second hand down under consecutive run, or we could do seven, eight, nine in one suit, seven, eight, nine. Since these are singles, let's keep the six. and let the eight go. Let's pass these three. No keepers. We have five discards, six discards really. This was a rough Charleston. The other thing I was thinking we could maybe switch to five, seven, seven, nine, and keep the fives. So instead of consecutive, because there were not many eights in there, or really the eight dots specifically, we could keep the fives and maybe play five, seven, nine, in which case I might even keep the nine as an option. We could use this as the missing eight and discard those. So we could still do something consecutive. So let's remember six discards and see if three, six, nine was a better choice. I believe this is correct for the Charleston. I think I forgot to take a photo at one time when I already moved the tiles, but I think that's right. So this is what we started with. And we were gonna play six, seven, eight, nine, or three, six, nine. I didn't pick three, six, nine at first because we have a gap of no three. Even though we have a joker, there's still no three represented here. And with three, six, nine, You've got to have representation for that particular category because there are only three numbers that you can use. So let's see how it goes. There is a suit, there is a hand where you can play knitted. If we can get a three dot, we might be able to use the dragon. So let's hold three, six, nine and pass these three. We've got a nine. We have tiles we can pass. I try not to pass two year tiles together, if possible. 
No keepers. No keepers. A keeper, three. We got a three and a six. We have two tiles to pass. I think I would go ahead and give up the red dragon at this point and keep all the number tiles. We got a three. Two tiles to pass. Three, six, nine, six, nine, three, six. Multiple here and here. I'm wondering if we could do 369 mix suit Kongs. That would use all the multiples. Or we could maybe play a pair hand. We'd have to give away the Joker though. Let's give up a six. We could pass blind, but we can work in two suits. And we still have an option for 369 Kongs in mixed suits. That would be the fourth hand down. No keepers. And I would not pass like numbers. 369 mixed suit Kongs or pair hand. The pair hand is number five under singles and pairs. You need pairs. Let's just pass one blind or say, let's ask for two in the optional cross. No keepers. So I would say we have either four, five discards really, if we play a pair hand. If we go with three, six, nine mixed suits, six discards. So the results are equitable, six discards. However, I would keep all three, six, nine and gather. Really, you don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. So we still could play any of those three, six, nine hands and just gather until we run out of discards and then pick the best hand. If I were to have to pick a hand right now, I would play three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs. And I probably would not claim a discard until I run out of discards because I wouldn't commit with this few tiles. If this were paired up, I might commit to Kongs. We could maybe even do three, six, six, nine, second hand down. I would just gather. It's interesting how you can use the same tiles for two completely different categories. And in this case, even had the same results, six discards, which is not good. You wanna have four discards or less. These tiles were a challenge, I think, maybe because of all the singles. I think we paired up once with six and nine. And both of those could be used in either consecutive or three, six, nine. So those categories do tandem well together. If you make the right decisions at the right time during the Charleston, more times than not, you can set yourself up for success for the rest of the game. And then pick a hand when you run out of discards. Just gather for the category you've chosen and you can make it work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.